It's heartening to learn about the restoration of an old historic mansion, especially when the mansion's being shared with visitors. Well, the Walker Inn B&B &B is such a place. It's in the heart of Bell Buckle, which in itself is like a trip back in time. The first time you visit Bell Buckle, you feel like you've come home to a charming little town you once dreamed about. A railroad town where the trains don't stop anymore, but lots of visitors do, and they browse the quaint craft stores and antique shops. And they dine at places like the Bell Buckle Cafe, known for its home-cooked hospitality. If you come to Bell Buckle for a day trip and find yourself saying, gee, I wish I didn't have to go home, well, you don't. You can spend the night in true 19th century luxury. The Walker Inn B&B &B is an East Lake Victorian style home built in the late 1800s by a local physician named John White. Back then, patients would wait in what's now the foyer Dr. White would see patients here in what's now a lounging area. And then his family had it until around 1975. And then there were four additional owners and uh, we purchased it from uh, a couple that ran it as a bed and breakfast called Aerolette. But it had been closed uh, for two or three years and then you know we decided to reopen it. I have to give uh, a lot of credit to the Aerolette owners because they came in and really renovated it quite nicely. Mary Lynn Walker is the proud present owner. This home is first and foremost absolutely beautiful. It's a very calming inn. Uh, we have you know a library. Uh, we have four rooms that you can stay in all with private bath and it's just it's just a beautiful home, and so it's perfect, you know, for a bed and breakfast. Since the ground floor room was occupied, we headed upstairs. There are three bedrooms upstairs. One is called the web room, and we uh, put the school colors because we have a college preparatory school here called the web. We have a room called Covington, and that's uh, a family name. And we also have the Elizabeth room, which is also a family name. And that's our largest room with a steam shower and a jetty tub. Mary Lynn also has a busy job as a nurse practitioner in nearby War Trace. So the B&B &B needs a constant caretaker. Caleb Head traded his job as an industrial welder for that of an innkeeper. Oh, it's not work at all. Yeah, I'm just living out here and I happen to uh, get paid to, to greet people and cook them breakfast. It's, uh, it's really ideal, uh, especially coming from the manufacturing world of, you know, shift work and, and long hours and uh, not interacting with people. Yeah. So it's not a job at all. It's a dream. Thank you, Caleb. You're welcome. And part of that dream job is ensuring guests enjoy a bountiful bell buckle breakfast. We do, of course, something called home style, which is, you know, eggs cooked to order, omelets, we do uh, baked French toast, we have homemade breads. Um, we try to source locally, so all of our goods here are, you know, locally sourced, many organic. So far, so good. Wonderful. For Caleb, part of the joy of working here is just dwelling in this enchanted Victorian home. I've never got to live in a house this old. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a unique way of living. Uh, the house uh, talks back to you when you're moving around inside of it. Uh, the craftsmanship was uh, obviously of a higher standard back then. And the people love, love it the second they come in here. It's just uh, they instantly feel like they're at home. And guests need not venture far from home to take in the old-fashioned charms of downtown Bell Buckle. Uh, Bell Buckle is booming, and we uh, have multiple antique shops, and we have uh, multiple places to eat. It's just a town that's booming, and a lot of shops, a lot of shops with a great variety in those shops. 
Uh, we're close to George Dickel, we're close to Jack Daniels, we're close to uh, the walking horse industry. And so, yeah, there's plenty to do. Taking the reins of this historic B&B was a giant step for a career nurse practitioner. But for Mary Lynn, the diagnosis continues to be nothing but satisfaction. Because it's so fun to meet our guests and, and to find out where they're from. And it's just, yeah, it's a very positive experience. I'm very happy. 